police in Lansing, Michigan harassed and then wrongfully arrested this black child for the crime of taking out his garbage. The video posted to TikTok captured by the boy's neighbors shows the police handcuffing him and then a man who appears to be the boy's father coming out to defend his son. Yo, they put him in hand because he was just coming to dump. After briefly speaking with the cops, the father then walks over to the neighbors to explain what was happening before his son was unjustly arrested and to talk about the psychological effects it will have on him for the rest of his life. <laughs> I, I'm just watching the condition of his son can you take the garbage down. That's what he did. You get what I'm saying? And, he, and that's a trauma that traumatized my son. You know? I'm Ravana, and welcome back to Rebel HQ. Eventually, the police did remove the handcuffs from the child and release him to his father, but not until after a ridiculous amount of police officers surrounded the child. All these cap for a teenage kid. It yo, the wrong the person, yo. That's some bull****. He right, though. He got a right to speak. <laughs> Wrong description and shit. Down here, now they've arrested the young boy, but then traumatized him. All these cops, put him in a cop car. Now they about to tell lies. You might have heard the people recording the video say wrong description, and that's because the Lansing police officers allegedly arrested the boy because he matched a description of someone who was stealing cars in the area. The Lansing police claimed that their description was a boy wearing a white shirt and neon shorts. However, they had a picture of the suspect they were looking for, and he looked nothing like the boy that they put in handcuffs. After comment after comment of criticism towards the police department on social media, the Lansing Police Department did issue a statement, however, I think you'd be hard pressed to call it an apology. The statement begins with the police department trying to explain why it handcuffed the wrong child, and then ends with them saying, in part, community relations is a top priority for us as a department, from top down. Our hope is we can put this unfortunate case of wrong place, wrong time behind us and continue to represent the community that we serve. So the police department wants to put this as they described it, unfortunate incident of wrong place, wrong time behind them. However, as the dad pointed out in the initial video, this will traumatize his child. That boy who was unjustly detained and handcuffed is going to carry with him a fear of the police for a long, long time. A fear that simply going outside to take out the trash, doing the chores that his father has asked him to do, will result in him getting arrested. And if the comments under that post are any indicator, it's gonna take a lot more than a lackluster statement to their Facebook page for the Lansing police to actually repair their relationships with the community that they were supposed to be serving.